Hi there! Today I will introduce you example 11, which is basic 3D sphere from Ayato Web. Apparently people has a hard time with step 2, which is to reproduce the sphere. The hard part comes when they suggest to use basic 3D, which doesn't work that well. So in this tutorial I will go through example 11 and suggest a new method. So first of all, let's save one of the sample, the ring. So now my file is on my desktop. We may now start After Effects. So first, I will create a new composition. Let's call it Com1. Now we will import the picture. Go in File, Import, Files, and double click on the picture and then drag and drop into the composition now I will reduce the scale of the picture so it fits into the screen so I will go into transform set scale and reduce from 100% to let's say 50 the first thing I'll do is to apply the rotations I will activate the keyframes for the rotation properties. The first keyframe will be at 0 second and it will be 0 degrees. Let's put the second one at 2 second and it will do 5 revolutions. Then when we have rendered the video, it should rotate in a circle. So now comes the tricky part will not use the basic 3D effects. Instead, we will transform our layer into a 3D layer. In order to do it, we will activate the 2D layer mode here. As you can see, we will have the XYZ component. Then, what we will do is to apply a rotation to the X axis, like that. And so now, the rotation is tilted. We'll do the same thing for three other layers. So let's select our first layer, copy it, and paste it three times. Now we'll put numbers to make it easier. One to four for instance. So our first layer is only done. Let's pass to the second one. We'll tilt it differently, like that for instance. Same thing to the third. and same thing to the fourth. Now, what I want to do is to remove anything that is black so we can only see the white ring. In order to do it, make sure that your mode column is activated. In order to do it, right click on the title bar, say column and make sure modes is engaged. Then switch from normal to screen for every single layer. Then, as you can see, only the white rings are showed. Finally, we'll apply the blur and glow effects. So let's select this layer and go in blur, apply radial blur, and the glow effect. For the radial blur, we'll let it like that. For the glow, we'll change glow radius to 50, change glow color to A and B colors. Color A, let's make it green for instance. And color B, let's make it aqua. So now, as you can see, our ring is colored. Now, what we want to do is to apply the same effects in all the other rings in order to do it. Expand effects. Ctrl C to copy the effects. Select the other layers, Ctrl V to paste. And now, as you can see, every single layer is colored. Now, render your video, and it should give you something like that, which is quite decent. <laughs> 